Welcome via Capricorn to your free weekly telescope for October the 14th. I apologise in advance of the crackling and the poor sound quality control. I do hope for the following week's telescope to have a new mic and to have the situation sorted. Right, getting back to Monday the 14th for Capricorn, let's see what it has in store. You've got the page of wands. This can be about communication that feels positive, that can be connected towards new work or work situation. I certainly feel as if this person brings news, but it feels like it's good news or news that you may well have been waiting for. Um, I do feel here that it carries something connected towards, again, a new work situation. So Monday kicks off for you with a lot of communication and flow, and maybe talks and agreements that will follow later this week. When I get to Tuesday, the 15th, this is significant, this is love is in the air for Capricorn. This could be the making of a starting of a new relationship or a relationship or a friendship that has been sitting in the background. This is your time now to step it forward. This is about if you want more than you want romance or you want me to kickstart your, your life off. I certainly feel here that this is where the passion, the baba boom starts to kick in to be a Capricorn this week, it's about things unfolding and I don't think that love or a relationship or friendship is about to move on to the next level of the journey this week. When I get to Wednesday the 16th, this is a financial card. This is the King of Pentacles, who represents money who holds money. I feel at the same time though, like the first card on Monday, this is significant towards you having goals and achievements towards making money. I certainly feel as a sign you like to make money and this is maybe that new way of thinking, upgrade money, better finances or hearing you with the finances on Wednesday and some form of some When I get towards Thursday the 17th, this is again the night of, of swords. This is a card that literally for me is about driving forward. The driving forward is about you moving forward on a quicker pace. So after the last few weeks that I feel you've kind of pulled back or sense to pull back to your Capricorn, this is telling you to sort of get on your horse if you like. It's about moving forward. It's time to stop that slow pace and to gather speed in your life. And I can feel here that as we draw towards the end of the week, things will gather momentum. It's going to be quite a fast paced week for a lot going on. So I feel here that see what the day brings, but I can of feel like the whole week will be quite a fantastic week. Just slow your pace down a little bit, but I can of think that this is about things starting to speed up, or feeling the news that will make you smile as we draw towards the end of the week. Friday the 18th is the lunar eclipse. Unfortunately, you haven't got the best card that's come through. The Tower card is not as negative as people think. The Tower card can represent rebuilding something in your life. You know, it is a lunar eclipse, it is a good thing impact. So maybe the news on Friday won't be as happy as you would like it to be. But look at, look at the other cards that you drew for the beginning of the week. They were all positive. So I kind of feel here that this is your time to build the situation. Maybe you've let someone down in some way and it's the time for you to have the opportunity to rebuild it and to make it stronger than it was before. When we get towards the weekend, again the cards perhaps, perhaps signify a little bit as to what went on around Friday. The Seven of Swords can mean it's to do with a property move where you've been let down, maybe your, you know, your hopes and dreams were dashed. But this to me signifies someone that's holding on to too much negativity. They're holding on to things maybe from the past, but you're holding on to too many things you can't possibly carry. You're not, you're feeling like you've let yourself down or someone else down. It gives me the impression also that you're not being open to people, you need to be a lot more open in what you're offering. The four cups of the game, disappointment, um, you've been quite fed up with yourself. So again, at the end of the week, for some reason, maybe things haven't gone quite as they should. And, um, you know, I feel at the end of the day, even though you sense and feel that at the moment, I will draw another card to balance out that negativity to see that you've got there. And these are lovely cards, but this is a card of adventure. This is about you. It also tells you, as I take you forward into the following week, about a new adventure coming in. 
So I thought we'd put that in the adventure. Look at the aura around us. It's exciting, it's challenging. So even though you have a couple of days of negativity for your Capricorn, what's coming the following week, maybe over the next few weeks, if you think about you going into something that feels very warm, very exciting, very alluring, it could be around work or a new work situation. But I certainly think you're going to have love by your side. Have a wonderful week here, Capricorn, and I hope you'll be back next week to listen to your weekly horoscope. God bless, love and light.